Yo, what's up guys? Tomato Sauce in here, and today I'm coming at you live with the most important add-on for Wrath of the Lich King launch, uh, and it's a very simple one. As you can tell from my UI, I like to keep things extremely simple uh, and, and as close to classic as possible. Um, but the one question I get asked a ton, whether it's on stream or whether it's on videos, is what nameplate add-on do you have? And this is my number one most important add-on for Wrath of the Lich King. Let's give it a little preview, but before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the videos, guys, click that sub button. It greatly helps me out. Thank you. All right, so let's jump into neat plates. So to access the, uh, the options here, we're going to go into interface. And it's super simple, right? Neat plates comes up right here. Uh, on the profile management screen, the most important option here is going to be theme. And this is just the way that you prefer to, uh, you know, ingest your data visually, right? So you can change different themes. They have very minimalist themes. They have a, a, an extremely close to Blizzard classic theme. Uh, another theme called classic, which is closer to like WoW's beta, like alpha and beta frames. Uh, Graphite, which is very, very thin, minimalist. You know, gray, again, nice way to look at it. Neon, this is a very fun, old school way to look at it. I actually want to show this off. I don't use neon particularly, but, you know, it's, oh, so it's a training dummy. It's not going to show me if I have threat, but if you have threat on neon, you're going to get like these arrow indicators on the sides. It's pretty cool. Now, one thing you can see that, uh, is completely unique to these frames versus like the classic blizzard flames is we're getting all of our debuffs on the enemy all of our dot uh you're getting a tick down time so you know when to refresh it uh it's just an incredible add-on overall um and it really is nice especially if you're playing a death knight and you need to manage dots or an affliction warlock shadow priest uh, because you're going to have all of these these countdowns uh and debuffs on the target at all times super helpful there um i'll go back in right show off the rest and you can see right up here so you can get a nice slim version you can even get horizontal i have actually never clicked on that that that's a little ridiculous looking <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go back to uh, what I like, which is Quatre. And this is just uh, one that I've always utilized uh, between tidy plates back when it was tidy plates and now that it's neat plates. Now, if we go into default profiles, this is where you can actually change the profile, uh, you know, for um, for your, your plates, right? Uh, so this is what all the options, effects. Um, I'm pretty simple. I, I like to have uh, elite units um selected so that i you know i know the difference between an elite and a non-elite unit um you know but really my most important thing i actually don't mess with any of these headline views uh, i come down here to health bar view and since i like to play tank uh, and even when i'm not playing tank i like to know if i have threat on a mob um, i i do the uh, health bar color by threat uh, you can change the enemy name color to whatever you want by class is kind of nice if you are primarily involved in pvp um, but I just like to keep it uh, white. Um, you can also change your status text as well as I just keep it on none. Your enemy subtext, which is kind of cool because like you can add a level range here to, uh, you know, to the health bars if you want. Um, or you could even do like percent health. But I just, you know, visually look at the health bars there. Um, you have some additional settings here that you can play around with. I keep mine pretty default. Um... You know, this will prevent nameplate stacking, but that's that's actually how I prefer to look at it. Uh, or rather, I prefer to, to look at it overlapping. Um, but I have that in, in Blizzard frames, uh, Blizzard options, where I, I go to uh, overlapping nameplates. So now you have headline view. You can actually change the headline colors here. Again, I keep mine by reaction. Uh, and then buffs and debuffs. You wanna make sure that you enable the aura widget. Um, and, uh, you know, you can actually enable pandemic highlighting, which is super nice, um, especially if you're a dot class. So what the pandemic uh, portion is of a dot, when it clicks down to a certain percentage, that's where you can refresh that dot um, and not lose any time, right? So you're not losing any damage. 
Um, so if you refresh a dot when it's too high on the duration, you're kind of wasting a GCD. But if you wait until that dot gets down to its pandemic uh, phase, uh, you will then uh, be able to refresh your, your damage over time effect without losing anything, uh, losing any damage. So that's pretty cool that you can enable pandemic highlighting. Um, you know, if you are like a, a really dot based class, right? So like those shadow priests, Aflocks, you guys are going to love that. Um, include enrage buffs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can actually show enrage buffs on the plate so that your druid, if you're a druid, you can soothe them. Um, and then purgeable buffs. If uh, my class had a purge, um, I would be, uh, you know, opting into this. Shield slam is, you know, shield slam. So it's, it's going to do what it does no matter what. Um, then again, you can change a couple other options here. Um, keep going down. You have plenty of options here. So cooldowns, durations, uh, you know, I, I don't want to hide any of that stuff. Um, you know, I, I want it all. I want it all on there. I like to see all the debuffs on a nameplate. Um, and because I play warrior, it doesn't get too crazy for me. But honestly, you know, none of your, no class is going to stack beyond like two debuffs on a nameplate. If you're looking at class specific buffs. Um, you can come down to scale. I keep it default out of the box here, but if you want to make your, your, uh, bars a little bit bigger, right? You could, you could do that kind of stuff. Uh, ch -ch -ch. again, right. Some more, some more options here. You have a unit filter. I keep this super default, um, you know, and then reactions, right? You have, uh, you have different colors for the reactions that the bars uh, are going to turn. I keep these default because I've always used the default settings between tidy plates and neat plates. Uh, and then threat colors, red is bad. So I, I run with that. <laughs> Blue feels safe. Ooh, cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the deep dive on neat plates. If you don't have it yet, download it for Wrath of the Lich King launch. Come in here, play with the options. Finally track all of your debuffs uh you know fully on a target's name frame right name plate once again we'll just show what that looks like so you can see that you get the cc tracking you get the mortal strike tracking you get your dot tracking you get your deep wounds tracking you can see blood frenzies on the target and trauma is on there for a full minute so uh i get everything i need as a warrior um you saw it on my stream last night here it is today the deep dive into neat plates. Uh, I hope you guys have a great Wrath of the Lich King launch. Subscribe if you haven't. Tomato Saucin out.